Did you know that all but one of the members of the Monkees have now passed away? With the passing of Michael Nesmith in late 2021, the only remaining member of the band is Mickey Dolenz. In this video, we'll take a look at the ups and downs of the Monkees, as well as how each of the band members died. We'll also look at how Mickey is dealing with the fact that he's the final member of the band. So join Facts First as we take a look at how the last surviving member of the Monkees is struggling to hold it together. The rise and fall and eventual rise again of the Monkees was a classic American story. In some ways, they were a fake band, created strictly for the TV show that shared their name. At the least, you could say their origins were far from organic. When TV producers Burt Schneider and Bob Raffleson were creating the show, they chose the four musicians as actors, Mickey Dolenz, Peter Tork, Davy Jones, and Michael Nesmith, to be the band inside the show. Jones hailed from England while the other three were American. Early on, it appears the boys were far better actors than musicians, despite the fact they could indeed play instruments and sing. So despite their best attempts to actually be the band that performed on air, the producers felt they lacked the skills and talent. As such, studio musicians were used to fake their performances on air and on their albums. The TV show was a success, and the albums and singles released under the Monkees' name were even more successful. All seemed to be copacetic until the actors grew frustrated that their musical performances weren't being utilized. They were also being mocked in public because of their perceived lack of musical talent. The show ran from 1966 to 68, but by 1967, the band revolted and demanded they be the ones playing the actual music. The producers reluctantly agreed, and the band made two more albums before each member began to pursue solo careers. As such, the band fell apart by 1970. But a resurgence in interest in the TV show during the 1980s meant the members found new success and fame, and they reunited. Over the next three decades, they toured, released four full-length albums, and became a more legit aspect of rock and roll history. Davy Jones's Death the first member of the Monkees to die was Davy Jones. He was living in Florida at the time and owned 14 horses that were kept on a farm in Indiantown. Jones was an avid fan of horses and enjoyed riding his around the property and on the track. On February 29, 2012, he got on top of one of his favorite steeds and began to ride around the track. This wasn't unusual, but what was unusual was his sudden sensation of chest pains. Those combined with some breathing issues led him to initially think he was suffering from indigestion. He took some antacids and called it a day. As he got back into his car to return home, he collapsed. A man who worked on the farm discovered Jones in his car and called an ambulance. Jones was unconscious when the worker found him and sadly he never woke up. The ambulance took him to the Martin Memorial South Hospital in nearby Stewart, Florida, where doctors tried to save him to no avail. They pronounced him dead of a heart attack that morning. The cause was said to be arteriosclerosis. A week later, Jones was given a private funeral at a Catholic church in Indiantown. Then a public ceremony was held for him in Pennsylvania on March 10th. Jones had actually purchased a church in Beavertown, PA, in the hopes of renovating it. Sadly, he never got the chance. Finally, his friends and family in Manchester, England, held a ceremony for him on March 12th. It took place at the Lees Street Congregational Church. The location was chosen specifically because Jones had been in plays there as a child. Peter Tork's death The next member of the Monkees to pass away was Peter Tork. While Davy Jones's experience was fast and sudden, Tork's was the opposite. In 2009, he revealed to the public that doctors had diagnosed him with adenoid cystic carcinoma. It's a type of head and neck cancer that's quite rare. It also tends to grow very slowly. Torque reported that, at least in terms of longer-term prognosis, the news was relatively good. Scans of his body showed it hadn't moved anywhere yet other than the initial site where it was found. He also revealed his case was more rare by the fact that it had been discovered in his tongue. He said doctors didn't have a lot of experience with that disease that's located on the tongue. But he did point out they did have experience with the disease in general. And because of that, he felt his prognosis was good. He underwent successful surgery that month, but unfortunately a few months later, in June of 2009, he received news that the tumor had grown back. Despite that, his doctors told him they thought the chances of shrinking the new tumor and containing it before it spread was around 80%. He began radiation treatments to shrink it and even continued touring while he recovered. Throughout his journey, he'd post on Facebook about the process so his fans could keep tabs on how he was doing. He even asked people to donate to adenoid cystic carcinoma research. Things looked better and better for Torque for a decade, but sadly the cancer returned in 2018. 
This time, it was too much for his body to handle. He died February 21, 2019. He was at his home in Connecticut at the time. Michael Nesmith's death Michael Nesmith was the most recent monkey to pass away. He had remained in the music industry over the years, both as the founder of Countryside Records and Pacific Arts Records. He was married three times throughout his life and had four kids. In 2018, he was in the middle of a tour with Mickey Dolenz when he suddenly had to cancel the final four stops. At the time, Nesmith released a statement saying the dates had been canceled due to a minor health scare. Later, it was revealed the issues were much more serious than that. It came out that Nesmith had actually undergone quadruple bypass heart surgery. As a result, he had been in the hospital for more than a month. While that episode didn't kill him, it did limit his ability to be on tour. His heart issues continued for the next couple of years, finally resulting in him dying of heart failure December 10, 2021. He was at his home in Carmel Valley, California. He was only a few weeks from turning 79. Mickey Dolenz It's never easy to lose people in your life, and for Mickey Dolenz, the last decade has been particularly rough in that regard. All three of the other members of the Monkees died within a 10-year span, leaving Dolenz as the only remaining member. This has taken an emotional toll on Dolenz. He said publicly he's still having trouble processing the loss of his dear friends and former bandmates. Dolenz is currently 77, and perhaps because of the loss of the other monkeys, he's had a renewed interest in taking better care of himself. He told The Mirror that he's actually surprised to have been the final remaining member. He remarked that if he'd known he was going to live this long, he would have taken better care of his body. So these days, Dolenz has a focus on eating right, exercising more, and curbing his drinking habits as well. He says he does yoga and other exercise every day. Part of this process has been because he's trying to enjoy what time he has left and live in the moment. He also said he's become a lot more selective on the types of jobs he accepts because he knows working too hard might cut years off of his life. However, Dolenz still made sure he was up for a tribute tour. In February of 2022, he announced that he planned to do a short tour to honor his departed bandmates. He toured the U.S. in April of 2022, and it was a bittersweet way to keep playing music that made him famous while still paying tribute to the men who had gone on the journey with him. Now it's time to hear from you. What was your favorite monkey song of all time? Let us know in the comments section below. And before you go, make sure you give this video a like and subscribe to Factsverse if you haven't already. Click the bell icon to stay updated on all our latest content. By the way, if you haven't joined Factsverse as a member yet, be sure to look below this video and click the join button. By becoming a paid member of Factsverse, you'll get access to exclusive video content that you won't find anywhere else. This includes some of our more mature content that isn't suitable for public audiences, which includes topics like Hollywood actresses who posed for Playboy and some of the steamiest moments in movie history. Plus, you can enjoy these videos completely ad-free. Our biggest fans will notice they also get badges next to their name when they leave comments on our videos. We pay special attention to comments from our members and so do other viewers. So if you want exclusive content from Factsverse or inside access to discussions with other community members, click the join button to get started for just $4.99. There are hours of members only videos waiting for you with new videos added every month. And we're actively working on bringing even more features to help fans like you connect with other members and get more of your favorite content. Just click join and we'll see you inside the membership tab.